Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Samantha with Crafty Sammy here. And today I am going to go through an unboxing of a delivery I just received from Yarn Inspirations. It's for, it's a kit for a blanket. So let's get into it. I haven't opened it yet. I'm pretty excited. The, the blanket pattern looked amazing. And it is with the Burnett Velvet. So it is beautiful and soft. It's gonna make such a nice blanket. So yeah, this is the Burnett Velvet in the, where's the color? If I can find the color, indigo indigo and it is a 10.5 ounce to 300 grams 315 yards so we have two of those and then we also have it in white these colors are really gonna look amazing and seriously guys it's so soft i haven't used this velvet yarn before there's no give to it uh like cotton yarn so you wouldn't want to use it for like a hat or anything like that but for a blanket It'll be nice, a nice and really nice and warm. And then, so that's the white, and then we have the teal. So indigo, white, and teal. This is a beautiful color. So that's really exciting. The pattern's online, it is free. I'll include a link to the kit from Yarn Inspiration's website in the description below. So check that out. I'll also see if these are available on Amazon for anyone that wants to use their Prime. So be careful with yarn. Sometimes it's not cheaper <laughs> on Amazon. I'm sure some of you have realized that when you're looking at the looking for yarn, you'll go on Amazon and the price is crazy compared to what you would get it for at like a Michaels or Walmart or even from the actual store. Um, so yarn inspirations and they're all the same sizes and then two colors of each. And then because I wanted to get free shipping, cause who doesn't want free shipping? I had to either spend like $3 or $4 more, maybe not even that much or pay 20 bucks in shipping. So I bought a 5.5 millimeter or I nine sized hook and it's an ergonomic hook. So it is the hook size needed for this blanket. My other hooks are not ergonomic. They're just small. I have them linked in the description below, the ones that I do use. They are still Susan Bates. But um, this one has a bit of a thicker handle. So if I can pop this guy out, be able to show you the thicker handle. There. So normally it's just this size all the way down but this has a bit of a nice, it's also a nice grippy. I think this is gonna be a lot nicer to hold, especially when working on them for quite a while. Um, so that's a really nice hook that I just got to get the free shipping and it's the hook size needed for this blanket. I do have it, but I just thought it would be nicer to have a, an ergonomic one and why not when you need to get free shipping. So this is what is needed for the blanket. I will try to grab a photo of it and include it, but it's, um, gonna have some tassels on it and then it's just working in different rows alternating these colors so you can see them all together it's gonna make a really nice looking blanket and it's gonna be so soft I haven't decided if I'm going to make it to keep it but I think I might make it to give as a gift we have quite a few blankets floating around the house and I have this one that I've been working on for us to keep because it was just something to work on that I've been having on the go for years so <laughs> I should probably try to finish that one for the house and I think I might give this one to a friend who's renoing their place and um, might make a, a nice housewarming because they, they bought it and uh, gutted it to reno it. So I think this will make a nice housewarming and it's just going to be so luxurious and soft. So I will get working on this one eventually. Uh, if you watch out any, check out any of my other videos, I have a Diamond Art Club diamond painting going on. I have that other blanket I just mentioned. and my 2021 project of seeing how many toques and whatnot I can make. So definitely a lot on the go. My husband had a big eye roll for me when I came very excitedly through the door with my yarn delivery. So 
Um, that's okay. It's okay to have lots, if you have lots of projects going on and that's what keeps you interested in doing it, that's totally fine. You don't have to have one and you know, finish it and be miserable and upset doing it. If you lose the, the interest and it's kind of lackluster, then just take a break. That's why I have that one going for so long. I like it for a little bit and then I start to really dislike it and it starts to hurt my hands because it's kind of frustrating to work with. And then I do something else, same with diamond painting. I find kind of hunching over because I don't always have the best posture diamond painting. I'll do it for a few nights in a row. And then I need to do something different because it's just hurting my body. So make sure you're tuning into your body. You don't want to not be able to crochet or do any of your other projects because you're you're hurting. I had to take a year's break because I was make, I was crocheting pretty much every night for hours and my wrist was just killing me. I might maybe not have the best form. I was Googling other ways to hold it. Same with my fingers. When you wrap the yarn around your fingers, my one hand was getting very sore. So make sure you're tuning in. Uh, that's why that's never a problem to have a variety and just make sure you're enjoying it. I am super pumped to do this one, mostly because the yarn is so soft. The struggle is gonna be to keep all of his hair <laughs> off of it. But luckily they have, who I'm thinking of giving it to has a cat or maybe I'll give it to my mother-in-law and she has a dog anyway. The dog doesn't shed, blend sheds, but that's okay. So we'll try our best to keep it off. I'm, try, I'm trying to get better with keeping him off the furniture. I'm obviously failing at that, but he's still a puppy, so we'll figure it out. But thanks for checking out today's video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I'll include a link to this blanket below if you're interested in purchasing the kit, as well as some links to Amazon if I can find this yarn on there in case you're just interested in ordering it. It really is gorgeous. So once again, it's the this is the indigo, and then we have the teal, and then just the white. And then there's two balls of each for this kit. I find it a lot easier to sometimes order them in kits than fumbling trying to figure out how much yarn I need. So uh, check that out and let me know in the comments if you guys are thinking of starting a new a new project. If you are, what is it? And is anything holding you back? So don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. See ya.